To be able to make all of those stylized shots for Heroes of Bronze, I started using a lot of NPR focused add-ons for Blender. And in today's video, I'd like to share them with you because they might help you too. The first thing you'll probably notice is the grass. It's surely one of the most striking elements of the new NPR style. And I was able to create this thanks to a tutorial from Tavern Sunflower, who not only has a great YouTube channel where you can follow along with creating some of these assets, but also he has a gumroad full of free stuff, including the grass, the stylized clouds, and this wonderful paint system, which allows you to create painterly textures directly in Blender. This is a gold mine of wonderful tools, so definitely have a look at the link that I posted below. Next up, I absolutely love add-ons by Ray, who offers libraries and tools similar to Tavern, but he also has these great trees, which I've used quite a lot in my shots. You can edit them with this simple GeoNodes menu, so that they can even become shrubs and bushes. You can edit the branches and the leaves. And also, you can choose from various material presets, and on top, add some nice wind animation. Definitely a lot to choose from at Ray's channel. He also has flowers, grass, and clouds as well. For some of my materials, I use the library by Black Deer Studio. There is some great variety of tiles, from wood to ground, and also some nice roof materials. There is so much more there, including some watercolor textures, so it's most definitely worth the price when you want some good looking materials with looser strokes for the base of your scenes. Finally, a little bit different style, I use this library especially for my recent other project, which was the course Master Cinematic Storytelling in Blender, and there I relied heavily on this library of low poly stylized assets called Polynature Pack. They have a great selection of biotic and abiotic assets, everything from trees to grasses, rocks and cliffs, icy assets and underwater environments. So if you're going for this sort of polygonal style, this is a must-have library. And it works nicely with the GeoScatter add-on as well, which I made a detailed tutorial series for, find it in the description. So there you go, these are the assets and libraries that I relied heavily upon when working on my latest Heroes of Bronze teaser. If you have some other recommendations, definitely let me know in the comments. And until next time, stay creative my friends, Martin out.